In August 2011, I produced my most popular video to date. In that video, I shot a 5-inch beef chuck roast wrapped in four layers of denim in the front and four layers of denim in the back with this round, the CCI Velocitor. This round is a 40 grain copper plated hollow point. The stated velocity for this round is 1435 feet per second. Some would say that the Velocitor is an exotic 22 round. Because of this, I've been wanting to reproduce that test for quite some time using a more standard ammunition with a more reliable and consistent medium. So today, we are reproducing that test using the CCI Minimag hollow point. This is a 36 grain round, stated factory velocities at 1260 feet per second. This should be a more recognizable round to those that shoot a lot of 22. It is one of the gold standards in the 22 ammunition market today. My 10 shot average for velocity with this round out of the Savage Mark II BTV SS with a 21 inch barrel is 1250 feet per second. We're going to take two shots for this test, one at 300 yards and one at 25 yards to compare the differences. The medium that we're going to be using for this test is the Clear Ballistics Gel from clearballistics.com. This is a 6x6 by 16 inch FBI block. The calibration is coming in at 3.56 inches. We are also placing four layers of denim in front of the gel. Okay, we're going to do a 300 yard ballistics test, 36 grain mini mag CCI. We're shooting into the clear ballistics FBI block, it's a 16 inch block, 6x6. Six six. Here we go. Ooh, just left. Okay. Ooh, just left. Just to the left there, almost. Ooh, just right. Elevation's perfect. Yeah, I know. That's it. That was in it. No, I saw dirt behind it. Must have just clipped the side of it. You, really? I saw dirt. You saw some dirt? Yeah. All right, let's try it again here. Got it. Got it. Bullseye on that one. Perfect shot. Okay. Okay, so we just came to, to get the block, and we hit the block. We went through the denim up here on top. Went the denim up here on top once, and went right here on the left, and then we actually hit it over here too through the denim right there. But uh, this is the shot that we collected here. This one went through about, I don't know, I'll measure it, but went through about that much, maybe six inches of the gel, and then exited to the left. But this shot, as you can see, we have a capture. You can see we got a capture right here. And that's about, oh, I don't know, I'll have to measure it, so. 25 yards, CCI Mini Mags, 36 grain. I was pretty dang surprised at the penetration that we were getting at 300 yards. The 300 yard shot here is coming in at 11 and a quarter inches and this shot here is coming in 11 and 3 eighths. So just a tiny bit more penetration at the 25 yard mark. Looking at the 300 yard wound channel you can see that it is pretty clean up until about the 6 inch mark where we get this permanent cavity which is about an inch wide and about 2 inches long. It then settles down and then finishes off at 11 and a quarter inches. There is very little bullet deformation. We'll pull the bullet out here in a bit. The 25 yard wound channel shows us expansion starting at about the 1 inch mark and ending at about the 3 and a half inch mark. It's not very wide, maybe less than an inch, but it is 2 and a half inches long. We begin to see some fragmentation at about the 4 and a half inch mark that ends about the 6 inch mark with a couple fragments being shown there. It settles down until it ends at the at the 11 and 3 8 inch mark and you can see that there has been bullet deformation. This round is from the 25 yard shot. The maximum expansion is 0 .380. The average expansion is 0 
The retained weight was 36.2 grains. This is the round from the 300 yard shot. Its average diameter is 0.221 inches. Its retained weight is 36.2 grains. I gotta say guys, I was really surprised with the results of this test. My best guess at 300 yards was going to be about 7 inches of penetration. It just goes to show that the 22 long rifle is one of the most underestimated cartridges to date. It's quite a capable cartridge, its lethality is undeniable, and its capabilities continue to surprise me more and more. I don't want to make this a really, really long video, so I'm going to do an addendum video to this discussing more of the results in a future video. Please don't forget to subscribe for more ballistics tests just like this in the future. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. I think that it's a very enlightening video, especially for those that uh, tend to undervalue the 22, and I think this would be a great video for discussion. If you guys like what you see, don't forget to take a moment to sign into YouTube and hit that like button. It does help the video out and it does help our channel grow and I really appreciate it. And as always guys, thank you very, very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. See ya. Oh, let me just give you the rundown on it. This is a Savage Mark II BTVS. We've got a Harris bipod on the front, uh, 9 to 13 I think, a swivel uh, with the, with the uh, quick uh, quick uh, adjustment legs we have on top we have a, a vortex diamondback this is the 4 to 12 power scope with the ballistic drop compensator in the in, in the reticle we are using uh, Leopold QRW medium height rings see these are uh, quick detach rings we're using a uh, an EGW